Welcome to Mind Your Matters. It is the end of July, July 31st to be exact, and we have our garden collab. I don't have a ton to show you. We actually just got back from vacation. I picked out three cucumbers you saw and a couple tomatoes, the ones that didn't go in our mouths the second that we picked out of the garden. But I'm gonna show you a couple of things that are going on. super excited it has definitely been a good couple days couple weeks we've had a lot of rain and it's been nice hey, coming up on the garden we've got some excellent peppers look at this these are great my son is really eager to pick these we got our green top onions again some baby tomato plants but we've got some buds here there we go they're doing quite well for growing them from organic grocery store seeds. Oh, let's see, some wildflowers over here. We've dumped some of our grass, but look at these. These are a surprise this year. They're just so pretty, just wildflowers. And yes, we let this grow out. There's some clover in here and some other things I'm sure that are um, squelching some plants, but these come up fine. Some bachelor button. Anyways, so let's get back to the garden. We got a lot of cukes, some coming out here, staking them up as we can. <laughs> More bachelor button that showed up over here. They're so resilient. When we rototill, the when my neighbor helped rototill, they were all over there and some showed up here. So these are really sweet. We have got so many weird shaped cucumbers. Look at this guy. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna let him go a little bit longer um, there's some others down there I just can't quite get the camera now there's two down there <laughs> so we've been having a lot I cannot wait until these tomatoes here there's a bunch until that they go ahead and turn green or turn red that's what I meant to say so we've got some red here forgot some of these snackers so good. I just eat them right out of the garden. Mm-hmm. Mm, so sweet. So sweet. I'm gonna cut and come again with our lettuce again. You see there's plenty to cut and come again. More cukes that are gonna be coming. Here's some more. It's an interesting variety. It's very spinally and it doesn't have a lot of like bumps other cucumbers I'm used to. So that was kind of a fun cucumber. More lettuce. Some of this purple lettuce. Oh, this is so good. Right out of the garden. It's so fresh. Got some more tomatoes that I moved over here. One, two, three, four, and then I moved some others over there. And I know it's so crowded. I didn't do a super good job at spacing it out this year but if you remember back when we started this garden um, my children were helping me oh and my potatoes squirrel there we go not really garden squirrel so my potatoes are doing good first time I've ever really gotten those to take so if you remember back when we had the beginning of our garden collaboration we were using it as an educational experience and my kids are loving it I actually have found my picky kids with plants with vegetables rather have been really interested in coming out here and getting some chive or whatever picking it out and trying it so it's been a good experience they can see how it grows and they know they put time into it and it's been helping them so that is the main garden plot something I haven't shown you guys before we picked these they're kind of like a succulent type plant we got a whole bunch of them out of the back creek behind my neighbor's house. I know it sounds silly, but <laughs> they're starting to form little blossoms. It's going to be so pretty. And I got a couple more of these on the side of the house under our side tree. I'll show you. Here's the side of our house. And these are a little bit more shaded. We got the hostas and some of the Stella Dorio, I believe it's said plants more hostas. So here they are. Oh, my husband threw the fence when he mowed on it. Oh well. 
so I believe this is the same type. Something red fire. Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up, but this fence is squishing my hostas. These hostas are most likely not gonna bloom this year because they were transplanted. So they didn't get enough time. And that's okay. That's okay. I think they're super pretty with the leaves the way they are here. It looks like some bugs have been having some snacks on them, but that's okay. They're still super pretty. Even the one that got flattened. <laughs> It's good they're resilient when a fence gets dropped on them, I suppose. But this is it. We've had some flower blooms out front, but we missed them. But this is the side garden. So thank you for being here. And check out the collab below of the other contributors to this monthly gardening collaboration. I know I might not have the largest garden, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, or the best garden, but my garden does grow and I learn and I, I definitely appreciate what God has done to allow us to have the fruits of our hands. So that's my garden. I am proud of it. Thank you, Victoria from Home Educating the Mad Lads for inviting me after month. <laughs> Even though my garden is tiny and all the things, I'm just thankful um, to be able to learn from the other in this collaboration and go on gardening go on gardening no matter how small your plot is I hope that you enjoy it you learn from it you find some peace and all of those things so thank you for being here I'm gonna go in and finish my coffee and my children are probably up from their rest um, so we're just gonna be getting going on the rest of the day's routine and I hope that hope that you have a good rest of your day as well and we'll see you next time in an August video. <laughs> Bye.